finally Superman Abel has returned to YouTube what is up everybody how's everybody doing feeling what's going on with life what is new and exciting in your life or what is normal in your life to be honest let's be honest right um, just a quick recap of what I found and reviews that are yet to come sorry I've been busy uh, it was actually the last week of uh, overtime <clears throat> unfortunately at work I am glad I did take advantage of it that's probably why you guys see me doing uh, pickups and stuff like that and catching uh, deals not mostly deals but finding stuff put it that way um, I did find uh, Aries I have yet to crack him open as you can see he's still sealed I gotta crack him open do a review me and my brother are actually gonna build this for him um, I just passed up on Lady Thor or Jane Foster Thor and Jessica Jones uh, I, and the reason why I passed up on those was because I found this hold on one second I passed up on Jessica Jones and Lady Thor because uh, I was looking for a Finn Balor, Baylor, whatever you want to call it. Still debating which one to get. Probably the one with the Universal belt. I don't know. Still debating. I seen none other than... Oh, crap. These figures are taking up room. I need a bigger table. It is Mankind with the two pieces of hair that he rips out from his head. And this is an Elite. Um, there was no price on it. And I asked and... Uh, Turns out it was 20 bucks. Actually cheaper than Toys R Us, because to Toys R Us wants 25. And I went to that little con, the little small uh, toy con last like, a Sunday ago or two Sundays ago. And I seen it for 25 bucks. I seen another guy selling it for 30. I seen somebody selling Cactus Jack for 35 or the Mankind with the title for a little bit more. So now I have this Mankind and I have This mankind, but the box is kind of smushed here. I don't know. Either way, it's fine, I guess. I don't know. Still debating whether to open them, keep them sealed, but I'm happy. Uh, I just need Cactus Jack. Maybe I'll get Terry Funk. I don't want Terry Funk. I just want that ECW title. Don't judge me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys. So look, I found that, and I'll show you right now the other stuff I found. One second. <clears throat> and then uh, my buddy Gio, shout out to Gio. He wants to go pick up uh, Bullseye for me. This would be my first review of uh, Legends. Um, on the next two or three videos I'm going to make. Um, so far I had Daredevil and Punisher. I won't do a review of those. And now I have Bullseye and I just need the two ladies and Blade. And I'll do a review on this one for the Netflix wave. I didn't open them yet, so I'm tempted to, but I, uh, I'll wait. <clears throat> then I found her yesterday. Actually, I was after I was done picking up um, my Marvel Legend uh, two pack, Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. Uh, I was on my way home from from work, and I found her, and I was like, wow, I'm like her in the wild. It's a big bet right there and there, but that's fine because I'm not too crazy about her. She looks nice, but my brother needs that piece. So, hey, the sword looks a little warped and crooked right there, too. Just want to point that out. Paint apps are decent, I guess, on the face. Could be better. I don't know what's up with that shoulder right there. It's a bit splotchy. Face ones are right, I guess. She just, she looks like she's getting out of the bar like at two or three in the morning, you know, looking for Uber or Lyft. But whatever. So yeah, I'll do a review on her too. Still sealed. Don't worry, I didn't open her. But I do want to get into this. Um, I seen only one, actually. I was hoping to find more. It's this. The Justice League Invisible Woman. Man, that is awesome. I I can't even see her. 
I I literally cannot even see her. I'm just at, and it's coming from Mattel. Come on, Mattel, really? They they really up the they really up their game up. Really, let's be honest. Uh, I seen her and I just had to get her. I don't know. You can judge me all you want. Leave me hateful comments, but uh, gotta have. Justice League, uh, Invisible Wonder Woman. Yeah. If that even existed. <laughs> nice one. Doesn't exist. But alright, here goes. Uh, this is the Parademon. This is the box that it comes in. It looks a lot cooler right there. Like a vibrant green. Uh, it's hard to ho have him hold that gun, but we'll get into that in a minute. I didn't know they were making him. I seen him there, but that was cool. I didn't see the Flash. He was gone. Didn't see Cyborg gone. It's always uh, the opposite Batman. Um, his regular clothes. I mean, well, regular suited. Not this one from the uh, movie. And these are only 10 bucks. And it's a Parademon. It's got all the symbols right there. Where we, all the superheroes and stuff. And I like the way the box is. You can just like open it from down here. And then uh, pop that open. And just pull out the plastic but enough of that enough of the box here is the figure it's the pokemon scyther now one thing i want to point out hard to imagine this is the gun holster and hard to imagine that aliens have pouches and when i first saw this in packaging i was like man this, this figure's gonna suck it's not gonna be good but it has decent range of uh, articulation and motion really Arms could go out that high, but you can, you know, switch it, make it higher. Um, it's weird, but funny, but he's got a bicep swivel. Hinge at the elbow, doesn't even bend, nowhere near 90, but that's understandable. Does have a uh, wrist swivel, hinges actually up and down too as well. Let me show you guys, just got a hinge right there, up and down, and it swivels. The gun is actually pretty decent, but one thing I want to point out, you don't, you are not really able to get all your hands in there. All fingers, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> Thumb wraps perfectly around it, and this blaster is pretty decent. What does it say? It's called the, uh... there was a word. Oh, okay. Right there. With blaster. So, it is a blaster. And you would think, too... I'm actually impressed, and I don't get pre impressed <clears throat> much from Mattel unless it's Hot Wheels, for you Hot Wheels collectors and fans. But I'll, I'll show you right now what I'm impressed about. Knees are crappy, no boot swivel, no uh, ankle pivot, doesn't go up, no rocker, does have peg holes on the bottom, which is fine. But that thing's annoying, I don't know why, it's just... How could you get this big old blaster to fit in there? But that's fine. What I'm impressed about, and I was looking at the package, what made me decide not to get it, but I ended up getting it anyways, because sometimes I don't listen to myself, is the fact that they have a waist swivel. Nice. Just when you thought articulation was lacking as a reviewer, I, ha I, was, I was actually up, up. I was just, like wow really I didn't expect they hit it perfectly fine put it that way and when I seen it in packaging I was like man there's no waste well how am I gonna get this or at least try to get this guy into some some decent posing at least but they hit it perfectly fine between that utility boat that they stole from Batman and made green <laughs> but the wings this is what got me going man these are like Pokemon Scyther wings and the color on these things is like a smoky gray and then the top has a little bit of that shimmery gold I mean shimmery green which is real fantastic color and these things are articulated fold them in so you can get this guy posing just gather wings like that spread them out like a butterfly I was thinking like Jeepers Creepers or something but yeah, he's got the wingspan on this is pretty nice. Look at that's almost the size of two legend boxes. But you get the point. And these are pretty cool to put in. Uh, when you get them, these things are loose. So it's got these pegs in the back. If 
He looks like a weird <clears throat> Dollar Tree action figure without his wings. <laughs> or or not one of those crappy non-articulated, just one one plastic mold you would find in like Family Dollar, Dollar General, or Dollar Tree that have no articulation, like the glue, the, the gun is glued on and stuff like that. But no, these wings are real nice, man. Uh, I told my brother I'm actually thinking about for army building, and the price point ain't that bad for 10 bucks a piece. I wouldn't mind getting like at least two or three of those. So if anybody comes across one, let me know. I know this uh, this cheap 9.99 wave has been off for, I think, past two weeks I've seen it. But I have yet to see this guy or the Flash. I'm assuming everybody's going after him. And these wings, they don't have a right or left. It's pretty much common sense if you just look at the picture in the back and how it's supposed to be. You can put it however way you want. But I just like the fact that you can just play around with these wings. That's pretty cool. And the blaster and stuff like that. So in the picture, I don't know how he was holding that gun like that. That was, <laughs> I, I guess with the hinge. It will be hard to get this guy to hold that thing that way because his fingers, like I said, they do not go all the way in. Point that out. So yeah, I guess that's. Basically how we would put it. Paint apps are pretty decent on here. Gold goggles. Weird looking clay face. Green and black. And it's not like a marbleized green. One thing I would do want to point out, I'm glad that these things aren't molded in. They're just, well they are molded in but just into the shoulder. But it does cut off the um, articulation because of that. And you know, what, what can you really expect? You can't expect too much from a Mattel figure. You know? But uh, I actually like it. You know? Not bad. For, ten, for a $10 figure, why not? Army build? Sure. Looks pretty cool to me. I don't know. What's your thoughts? What's your opinions? Are you going to get this guy? Are you going to pass? Get him sand this mat. Food mat. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Um, and shout out to 114 subs. Uh, lately, I've been secretly checking out, making sure that everybody is sub to my channel. Uh, I've noticed that there's a few. Uh, adios. Uh, head on sub, man. I mean, it's nothing against you, but I want it to be mutual. I follow you, you follow me. If you only joined, you only jumped on the bandwagon to get my giveaway, understandable. If you won, hey, you got lucky. If you didn't win, hey, it wasn't meant to be, playboy. But uh, I've noticed a couple other YouTubers as well. They lose, they've been telling me they've been losing a couple subs here and there. Just do us a favor. Just don't, don't sub just for a free giveaway. And if you're that person, just do us a favor and don't sub at all. Uh, save us the trouble and hassle of having to see if you're subscribed to our channel and stuff like that. If you don't like our channel, that's fine. That's your opinion. There's a lot of channels I do not like or a lot of channels I'm not up to as well. I do my best. Shout out to everybody on my subs. Uh, 114. Let's get to like 125. And when we get to 200, I guess from the big leagues, we can start doing better giveaways. Cooler stuff. And... Um, Thanks for being a loyal guys. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for your commitment in this relationship. <laughs> but uh, I hope everybody's doing fine, man, and uh, enjoying life. <clears throat> and taking time to, you know, treasure the little things, friends, family, your job, your life, your love life, uh, your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever your situation may be. Enjoy it. Live it to the fullest. And um, yeah, guys. The Superman Abel, a small little review of the Parademon. Like I said, pick it up, man. If you don't want to pick it up, pick it up for me. Gracias. But uh, it's 10 bucks. Come on, guys. Army build. The movie looks like it's going to be awesome. And for 10 bucks to army build, that's a lot better than some shield agents from uh, Marvel Legends. Or I know they're coming out with the two-pack. Or even better than some uh, Hydra, Hydra 
soldiers and stuff like that. Or whatever they're called. But uh, small army bill for the Parademons, why not? Something to go up against the Justice League besides... I don't know what's really out there for Mattel, but... For 10 bucks, I couldn't pass. So stay tuned, guys. Um, probably right now, I'll probably upload the reviews for the other three. And stay posted. And like I said, once again, I appreciate you guys. All my subscribers, thank you for being committed, faithful, loyal <laughs> to this uh, YouTube relationship we got going on. I love it. And uh, got big hunts coming in soon. Um, that's about it, guys. Have a good one. Superman Abel from Chicago, Illinois, saying peace out.